Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you remember when we were talking about polygons, uh, Robert, what we went over was you know, talking about the number of sides that each type of polygons have. And we, and we went up to um, a triangle, which had three sides. A quadrilateral had four sides. Pentagon had five sides. And then a hexagon had six sides. And when we were talking about the triangles and the sum of the measure of the interior angles, we talked about up to hexagon. But then there's also, we can keep on going up, where we have a heptagon has seven sides. A octagon is going to have eight sides. A nonagon, which is, has nine sides. And a decagon, which have 10 sides. Now remember, what they're asking us is to find the sum of all the interior angles. So the sum of the interior angles, Kevin, do you remember what that formula was? Yeah, n minus 2 times 1e, because what we found out was if we took the number of sides, which was n, and we subtracted it by 2, what did n minus 2 provide us? What did n minus 2 show us? If we took the number of sides, minus it by 2, that gave us what? The number of what? Triangles we could fit, that we could make inside the figure, right? And then we multiplied that by 180 degrees. So ladies and gentlemen, if I'm asking, what is the sum of all the interior angles of a heptagon? Therefore, we know that that's going to be a seven-sided figure. So that's going to be 5 times 180, right? It's going to be what? And then 5 times 8 would be 4. Um, 400 times 500, so that's going to be? 900 degrees. So, very good. OK. Any questions on that? Good. So that's how, yes? Since it was 